So even though Bruce got loads of my dung beetles, you can see the evidence here that the dung beetles are still here. Yeah, Inca. Inca's mad for dung beetles. She's always digging them up or trying to, but they burrow so deeply. No, let me, let me. She's so determined. She, are you gonna dig it up? Are you gonna show it all? Show us all. Look at you with your mucky nose. <laughs> oh, everybody wants to get involved. Yeah, you want to get involved too, don't you? Well, <laughs> oh good, they've all run off to play. There, the dung beetle is dug its hole underneath the manure to draw it down under the ground. Yes, I know. You're not helping me because they're playing. <laughs> there, Inca's trying to dig to show where it is. Were you trying to dig? Were you digging where the dung beetle was? Hmm? There's the dung beetle hole is right there. It's right in there. Underneath the dung. Isn't that right, Inca? <laughs> she loves showing everybody where dung beetles are. She's got a mad thing for dung beetles. I suppose dogs are like their owners. <laughs> there we go. Wanting to show everybody about dung beetles. Yeah, did you find it? Now the dung beetle will dig way too deep for Inca to dig out. Unless dig Inca was digging out here for a longer period of time. These two. <laughs> so Inca's digging out where the dung beetle is. She's not going to get there. The dung beetle will have dug a very deep chamber under, series of chambers, sorry, under this pile of manure and will be drawing down manure to each of its different chambers. So she's just digging it out because I'm always looking at dung beetles and she says, oh well if the human is interested then I should be interested. The thing is that if you break up dung, you'll find other dung beetles in it. I don't see any right there. But there's, oh, and there's evidence of another um, dung beetle. There's another dung beetle hole right here. Another dung beetle's digging in there. So these are hugely important, vitally important to soil health. So vitally important that our food, our economy, so many different things are so important about having dung beetles. If we don't look after our environment, if we don't look after things like dung beetles, we're not looking after our soil health. And we're just goofing off environmentally if we don't pay attention to soil health of tillage fields, of grazing fields. We're just messing around like these dogs are. This is so important that I don't think anybody has grasped the seriousness of the deficit of soil health that we have on an international scale. And dung beetles are a huge, huge part of the resuscitation of soil health. And that involves herbivores. And here we have a David and Goliath scenario where the small dog took down the big dog. The Goliath being a lot of agricultural industry and inputs that don't want to pay attention to what we're all dependent on, which is the soil. So Goliath is trying to beat down those of us who are talking about soil, the Davids of this world, if you will, if you want to take it on a biblical level. This is a continuation of a fight to do with our survival and the environment's survival. It is very, very important.
say we need the Davids of this world to let Goliath know who's boss. Isn't that right, Bear? Bear! Isn't that right? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, puppers. Yes, puppers. <laughs>